That's why I landed here instead of there. I knew for sure there was a bunker at this location, and this place was a designated continuity of government site even before all the massive secret expansion work started. Who's in charge of the Colorado bunker, anyway? We have President Williams, obviously, and he seems personally grateful for what I did. I think he'll give me all the help I need to get there as soon as I can. Who's running Colorado? All of a sudden, Eva looked confused. You don't know about the ERF? ERF, I echoed. Earth Resilience Forum, she explained. You really didn't see the logos and banners? As soon as she says this, the ERF badge on the huge screen I'm looking at has new context. I figured it was the manufacturer, but apparently it signals the organization responsible for the bunker program. I guess I wasn't paying much attention to that stuff, I admit. So is the ERF a branch of the government? Military? It's international, Ray. Supranational, really. There are bunkers in two dozen allied countries. There's an ERF-appointed leader in each bunker. Ours is great. She was high up at NASA and has a good way of keeping people calm. Your leader is probably Williams since he's there. This is a Tier 2 bunker with lower capacity than yours. And from what I've heard, I think we have supplies for less time. I nod. The ERF setup sounds good to me, with a collaborative program on this scale being much better than a haphazard bunch of national efforts would have been. A lower level of supplies in Colorado is no real concern either, since that's not going to matter. It's not like we're all in our bunkers trying to wait out a nuclear winter or anything like that. The air is breathable, and we could all return to the surface today if it wasn't for the extinction-level event we have to stop first. I saw the maps on Zola's computer. I know that we either stop the motherlode detonation before time runs out, or we won't survive long enough to worry about supplies. A triple knock on the door behind me takes my attention. I turn around just as it opens. It's President Williams. Sorry to interrupt, he says, stepping inside. But I have a room full of people who really need to talk to you, Ray. It shouldn't take too long. If you don't mind, you can certainly call again later. We are on a very urgent time scale here, as I'm sure you both understand. Go, Eva gently encourages me. We'll be right here, Ray. And I will too, I promise. As soon as I can, I'll be there. Williams pats me on the back and faces the screen. There's no quitting this man, he says. We're going to stop Zola's plan and Ray is going to reach you. We just need to talk through a few things to make sure we can meet the first of those objectives. Then we'll offer whatever assistance we can in helping Ray do the second. Thank you, Eva says. Williams nods and taps my shoulder again, then heads to the door to give us a moment.